Greetings one and all, my name is Lancer and welcome back once again to Data Live. We'll be watching episode 12, the finale of season 1 of Data Live. And last time on, Shido has taken Kotori out on their date. And while it seemed like everything was going fine until Kotori went off seemingly to the bathroom, where Reyna was giving her some injections of some sort of stimulant to help her keep going through the date. And meanwhile, Origami was shown some interesting tech that totally won't be used by her. And she also saw the footage showing that the flame spirit Ifrit is indeed Kotori. Now, this is some pretty big setup for what might be a crazy finale of season one, man. Uh, I don't even want to click. Like it. It's just mainly the opening, man. I God, such a good opening. I mean, also this season's just fucking awesome. I, I just want to see it. Let's get right into the episode. Kotori Itsuka. <laughs> what, a, what a what a jump. I wanna... Oh, it's way too late. <laughs> You're fucked. Oh, what a transition, man. More often than not, feelings have a way of complicating things. The red flame has forgotten the truth while the white flame has discovered it. <laughs> and when these two flames meet, everything will burn to ash. That was kind of cool. The red flame, Code 3, the white flame, Origami. But the white flame is the hotter flame. Not saying that is just... I, th I mean, it's just scientifically true. Uh, last time we're gonna hear this OP for this series. I mean, not the last time we're gonna hear it, but it's the last time we'll see the opening. Let's give it a proper send-off. I didn't even hear half of that. Oh my god. I just gave myself such a head rush. Let's do it. <laughs> Episode 12, that which cannot be forgiven. <laughs> this might end up being exactly what Kotori needed. Mm-hmm. We've blown this date out of proportion instead of letting it be. I hope you're right. Let it be. Give me your hand. Uh, what for? <laughs> His face. Out. Please hold hands with me. I'm so scared. Stop acting like a weirdo. Oh, please, Kotori, hold my hand. I'm so scared. Fine, if you'll oh. shut up. <laughs> she don't know. What a waste. If you hugged the commander, you could let no. totally <laughs> enjoy your soft, supple body. Why are you riding together? You should let the commander drive the car by herself, you idiot! That way, you could be running in front of her as a personal target! Can we not just... <laughs> let, 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 it, let the montage roll. Shido was right. Throwing out his headset was a good call. Uh-huh. Wow! This jungle cruise is everything Shido said it would be! uh <laughs> jungle cruise. We should all be having a good time together. Yeah, but, but that's not it. We might have overheard something kind of major. Mm. Shido's trying to save her. He's going to seal her power away like he did with both of us. He needs this time, so we shouldn't interrupt him. him Yoshida's always been such a good wing woman. But I do wish there was something we could do to help them. I owe Kotori so much for what she's given me. It's hard to just sit here. Besides, yeah, you'll have your moment. Kotori a lot. Don't you think she has the same kind of smell as Shido? Mm. <laughs> it's almost like they live in the same house. The white licorice battle suit has been stolen. Whoever has it took all the ammunition as well. Gee, I wonder who would do that. Do you think it would be possible to even defeat Ifrit? Mm-hmm. Origami. It's been a long time, right? Since we've been to a theme park like this. I can't remember, though. Do you know? Yeah, five years. Really? That long? Sheesh. <laughs> what is it? Oh, is it happening now? <laughs> Kotori? Yeah. We'll be okay right here. I promise you. Mm. Now, listen. Kotori? I have a question. Uh, you can't just ask me like that. It's super awkward. Uh, wait. No! Never mind. Ignore me. <laughs> So please just hurry up and ask your question. Yeah. Could you yapping? About five years ago. Mm. <laughs> Jesus Christ, holy Gino, Gundam. It's dangerous here. You need to leave. It's happening now. Horagami! <laughs> yes, Kotori is dead. I killed mm. her. <laughs> you killed me? You don't make it sound like it was that big of a deal. There she is. And who knew you were crazy enough to use it? Especially when you consider how many innocent people are around us. No! 
<laughs> she just she just sees red. Oh, twist on her theme. All right. They're both seeing their own versions of red. Yeah, she can tap into a little bit of it. I am. Well, can I go? If you feel that strongly about it, I won't stop you. <laughs> Deploying territory. Locking coordinates. Not the Ferris wheel. Pretty strong weapon. For right now, it is at least. I haven't seen that suit before. It must be a new one. <laughs> I've used too much power. Oh, I like the, the, like, saturation. Who's being more destructive here? <laughs> She's losing it. I forgot she attached it to her arm. This is how you did it, isn't it? This is how you murdered my parents five years ago. Five years ago, my parents were brutally killed by a flame spirit. I watched brutally? It and murdered them. It's pretty quick. <laughs> but, yeah. No, I don't. You're lying. This time I won't miss! Since they died, my only purpose in life has been to avenge my parents. Killing Ifrit. Killing Kotori. You can't. <sighs> there's you another one. Sister. If you pull that trigger, there's no going back. I don't want to see you end up like Mana. It'll be no different. What you want. You're only after Ifrit, right? You want the flame spirit. You're not after my little sister at all. You don't want to kill Kotori Itsuka, do you? You're not making any sense, Shido. Yes. I am after Ifrit, the flame spirit. But your little sister is a spirit. I need you to give me some time. No, this is my best chance to take her down, and I'm not throwing that away. I'm not about to just sit here while you murder my little sister. And on top of that, I can't do nothing while my friend is in so much pain. <laughs> yes. <gasps> Origami! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, son. Oh, yes, this. Oh, I love this song. I always wondered when it played. I figured it was here. <laughs> Do I even need to put the ending song in this episode? <laughs> Mm-hmm. It was so painful. I felt broken and more alone than ever. Isn't that how you felt when you lost your parents? Why would you want to hurt such wonderful people? I promise you'll stop hurting good people. Like you said in that episode, you're no different than them. No, that was a hard reset of that song. How am I supposed to confirm Kotri's happiness meter without getting in touch with Reyna? I have to seal her power, and I have to do it now. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> You'll always be my favorite little sister. I'm prouder of you than you will ever. Yeah, understand. fuck you, Mana. <laughs> I love you. Uh, really? What about you? How do you feel about me? Mm -hmm. Isn't this kind of an awkward time to ask? It's the only time. Memories come back. Five years ago, I saw her. There was someone else. Do you remember what she looked like? Shit. You 
said it yourself. You're after Ifrit. The Flame Spirit is the one you want. You don't want to hurt my sister. I'm Ifrit now. Target me! I don't understand. Ifrit killed my parents! You are right that Ifrit was the reason the fire started. But understand, Coterie didn't kill anyone. No, that can't be! I know I saw a spirit that day! It's the same spirit that made Coterie suffer through all of this. Do you really expect me to believe Origin you? Phantom at yeah. this point. I just can't. If that's the case, then you don't have a choice. Shoot me. Kill Ifrit. Shoot me. Activation limit. No! I won't be stopped now! Put the gun down! She saved my life! If it weren't for her, I wouldn't be here! <laughs> All this futuristic tech just pulls out a blicky. Fucking insanity. I've missed you the past couple episodes. Well, that's not going to be nearly enough. Shin. Enough what? I'm, I should have had you seal her powers as soon as you woke up yesterday. Yeah, the but was so excited about the date. I don't know. I just couldn't. Might not have worked. Day. These are all the changes we recorded in Coterie's feelings towards you since we measured her yesterday. As you can see, they haven't changed in the least. They've been <laughs> maxed out the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Coterie loves her big brother more than anything. <laughs> Something must be broken. There's no way those stupid measurements are right. Not true. Yeah, she's fine. Say the numbers are off or buy me a dozen cream puffs. My apologies, Shin. The measurements are wrong. Is that really much of a punishment? We finally got our memories back, but they could always be erased again. If we want to make sure we can remember what really happened. <laughs> That's just the world we live in, a world of unknown amnesia. Yeah, of course it was. I do love you. <laughs> As a sister, of course. That's what you meant! <laughs> Coterie. What do you want? I really like how those ribbons look on you. Uh, thanks, big bro. Yeah, I've always had them. How does Origami keep having a job after this? Yes, every character that's been on this journey so far. Hey, thanks for saving me. The ones that started it all. I hope you'll keep saving any other spirits that might appear. Like you saved me. Yeah, there can't be that many left. I wish you wouldn't kiss them. I don't know why, but I don't <laughs> like it when I see you kissing someone else. What is that about? <laughs> I think you should just shut up and kiss me. <laughs> do you? I do. Yeah, sure. Do. Why not? Ooh, way to go, Shido. <laughs> They're don't always watching. That. <laughs> kiss her, kiss her, kiss her, kiss her. Uh huh. <laughs> Someday. Someday. Yeah, play the ED again. Why not? I'm actually curious what's at the end. Is there a to be continued season two? Nah, of course there's not. Uh, I really hope there's a season two. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> well, that was season one of Data Live. Easily one of the best harem power fantasy shows ever, with the etchy as well. I still kind of remember when I was first just going through that phase, of just like, oh, this looks interesting, this looks interesting, yeah, click, 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 click. And by interesting, I meant hot. And like, I got to the end there, I'm just like, what, is that just it? And then like, the next thing was like, Data Live 2, and I was like, oh, thank God. But unfortunately, that was not the case when I got the end of season two, I was like, where's season three? It wasn't out yet. But I don't think it was that long after that that it did come out. Either way, yeah, that was season one. Holy man. Still one of the best anime ever. For me, obviously. It's just on its own. It covers so much, man. It's just so nice having just this, I want to say little crew, but in terms of where we end up, it's small. Just having Shido, Kotori, Toka, Yoshino, and even Kurumi, I guess. And Origami. Funny just how simple the story is right now, even though someone watching it could probably call it complex. You have no idea. But yeah, man, now we we go into season two. What do we have to expect? Well, more of the same, but season two is where things really start getting crazy. In terms of characters, we get introduced, new antagonists, new spirits, old antagonists turned friends, temporary allies. Obviously, I know that in terms of like my day live reactions, obviously these rewatches aren't going to do as well as the new episodes that come out, which I'm doing my best to try to cross pollinate. I mean, still, I'm doing this more for me again, because I want to jog my memory in terms of stuff I've forgotten. Well, not necessarily forgotten, but just 
you know, information I haven't retained in a long time. I mean, plus, even looking back on this older stuff with the lens of knowing things in the future, you know, especially when it comes to the case of Reina and the role she plays in the whole story, and even Origami as an antagonist right now, it just really makes me look forward to getting into these future stories. Again, seeing them more through the lens of knowing more, but just in terms of rewatching season one, 10 out of 10, man. The more I think about it and break it down, it's like, yeah, there's problems, there's holes, but like, I don't care, man. I don't get hung up on that stuff as much. I mean, granted, yeah, a lot of it's nostalgia because I've been watching this series for years, but look, in more recent times, I've learned to just, if I enjoy it, I enjoy it. Can I explain really in full detail why I enjoy it? Not really. Hence the term guilty pleasure, but honestly, I don't even feel guilty about it. Like in terms of everything, can I defend my opinion on it? Not to the best of my ability, but at the end of the day, I can at least say I enjoy it. I get the most out of it through watching it uh, in the English dub. I love the music. I love the characters. I love the art style. Day to Life for me just perfectly encapsulates just the junk food anime binge side of me. Because there will always be that side of me that I guess you you say is the pretentious side that loves stuff for the artistic value, the rich story, the lore, and everything. But then there's this side of me that loves that stuff, but it's for a series that has a lot of etchy stuff, and it's a harem show, and it's just romance. Everyone has that one show, or in my case, many shows. But all that to say is, fucking love season one of Data Live, man. It's just one of those ones where, like, every year or, like, couple years, not necessarily go through the entire show, but at least, like, season one, just revisit it, rewatch it. It's just so fun. From the first three episodes dealing with Toka, the two episodes with Yoshino, and then, oh, the amazing introduction to Kurami, which then bleeds into Koteri's revealing to be a spirit. And honestly, I miss those, like, kind of just quick structures and bursts of introducing spirits, because going forward, it's really only, like, two spirits a season. Granted, a lot more stuff gets introduced, and plus, there's already a lot of characters. I just like the quaint feeling of having just our small little cat, small cast right now, and I can't wait to get into season two. Either way, this was my reaction to the finale of season one, as well as my reaction to the entirety of season one of Data Live. Join me next time as we begin season two, as well as everything else that'll be coming out soon. So until next time, I'm Lancer. Thanks for watching.